Hey guys, what's going on? This is Oasis back with another Adobe tutorial on iPhone. So in this tutorial, we're gonna look at the Photoshop Fix app. All right, so I'm gonna open that app, and in that app, to open your project, you need to tap on the plus sign. You first of all, just wanna make sure that you sign into your Creative Cloud account or Facebook or Twitter so you could sync your files okay this is a good feature in all the adobe photoshop applications available and these apps can sync your photos through internet as well so i'm just gonna tap on the plus sign and here you can see i've got a few options i can open recent files open file from my iphone creative cloud lightroom facebook dropbox okay so you can capture the image straight away okay so i'm gonna tap on this camera button click ok to allow this and then i can capture the image straight away in this app all right this is basically a pretty simple app to capture the image i'm gonna tap on cancel and let's go open an image from my iphone okay so i've got this portrait in my phone to use that in this tutorial so i'm gonna open this portrait now as you can see that we got a lot of um pimples and marks on the pictures right so on the top i've got my um this uh, icon which gives me the information about the picture the next option we got here is basically um sharing option you can save this to your camera roll after you make changes you can send this to photoshop cc lightroom all those options available here so tap cancel and let's have a look at the cropping option now okay so i'm going to tap on crop and here I've got um, a free crop, unconstrained crop here. So I can just drag these vertices and just move. Once I'm happy with the crop, I can just tap inside that crop and I can move the image. All right. So I'm just going to apply this crop, right? But I want to make sure that that photo basically sits in my iPhone. So here, as you can see that I've got some presets available here. I've got my 9 by 16 square um original and free crop right so i want to keep that original so i can just move the picture about here and i will to accept that just tap on this tick mark sign and it will crop that image okay all right so i'm going to go back to cropping option on the left we've got rotating so you can rotate your image on a 90 degree angle you can flip your image horizontally by tapping on this button you can flip this vertically by tapping on this button so i'm just gonna cancel that and go back to my main menu the next we got adjust right so click on that here we got exposure contrast saturation shadow and highlights okay so the exposure to apply the exposure tap on exposure and as you can see that circle there yeah so drag that to the right to apply that drag it to the left to decrease the exposure on the image so i'm just gonna keep that way Let's go to the contrast now. You can apply your contrast. All right, so I'm just gonna apply a bit of contrast as well. Saturation, you can apply the same way you apply the contrast and exposure, this circle. Okay, so shadows, I've got my shadows options available here and highlights. So I'm happy with that. So to accept that, tap on this tick mark sign. Okay, so next we're gonna look at the liquify but before we go to the liquify i want to show you the healing option so this is the best um, options available in this app and you don't find this in any other app available on iphone there are a few apps that offer this feature but that doesn't work very well okay so i'm just gonna zoom in you tap with two fingers and just pan so that's how you can zoom into the picture right and to pan around you gotta use your two fingers and just move okay so here i've got this um some kind of mark on the body okay so how do i remove that okay so make sure you're on a spot heal option and then click on this brush icon here you can choose hardness of the brush if you slide your finger up by tapping on this first of all tap on this and then move your finger up it's going to increase the hardness if you take it down it's gonna decrease the hardness okay so i'm just gonna leave that here okay and on the top you got your size as well so you can increase the size of the brush and you can decrease the size of the brush as well okay so i'm happy with that and all you gotta do is just tap on the object okay it's gonna remove that okay so if i just tap my finger and just move around it's gonna get rid of that okay let's get rid of these marks as well so i'm just gonna tap here and get rid of this a bit more okay which is 
really cool feature right so you got rid of these the next we got patch options so patching is basically the same thing you can tap and then you can just move let's say if i just tap here and just move here it's gonna patch that area it's gonna go to the closer pixels and calculate that and apply it's gonna apply those pixels to the patching area right clone stamp is the same feature that you use you tap on something and then you tap and then just move your finger like that and it is going to clone that area to the wherever you tap okay so you can always go back by pressing this undo button this is the cloning i'm gonna redo that to get rid of that red eye fix so to move my picture upward so tap the two fingers and just move it up okay so here you can you can see that i've got no red eye here so if i apply this feature it's going to tell me no red eye detected so if you have red eye in your portrait picture you can get rid of that which is really easy okay restore is basically let's say if i want to bring back that pimple so tap on this restore button and just move that will come back okay but i don't want that for now so i'm going to undo that okay and then accept that the healing option is really good in in this um app okay so now let's have a look at the liquify option okay i'm gonna go tap on a liquify the first option we've got a wrap okay so if i tap on this i'll get to choose the brush size okay i can change that to grid so i could see wherever my um, wrap is applying so i'm gonna just decrease that okay so now what you can do in that circle if you move your finger it's gonna just liquefy that so if any one of you watching this video are familiar with the um, photoshop app which is available on windows and mac is you have that liquefy option there okay so i'm just gonna undo that and the next we got swelling option okay swell okay so if you tap on the brush you get to choose the brush size again all right and then you can just if you move your finger down it's gonna apply that effect if you move your finger up it's gonna apply that effect okay so i'm just gonna move it up to bring it back or i can just go and tap undo okay this is basically swelling okay twill is basically twist that so if i just move my finger it's gonna twist that face so that's how you can fix your picture or you can destroy your picture completely so let's go undo that Okay, so if you make any changes, let's say you get this reconstruct option. So what it does is basically it's going to bring back your original image. Okay, so you got to hold down and then just move your finger around so it will bring back that picture. Okay, so I'm just going to undo and then the face option. Okay, so if you have a portrait picture, let me get rid of this grid first. And then if you have a portrait, right, so if you tap on the face option, okay, so you get to choose these are uh, as you can see now once i tap on this face option i've got these bubbles on the picture so let's say if i select this let's say if i select the chin once i select that chin circle and then i get this these four or five options here so the first is face distortion so if i select that if i take the circle up it's going to destroy that face it's going to just apply this effect okay so you can see that i'm going to undo and let's go and select the width okay so if you wanna if you have a bit of um face in a width so you can decrease that if i take my circle down it's, as you can see that what effect it's applying the photoshop app is automatically reading that's the face area and it's applying that feature as you can see that the hairs ears neck is not affecting by this feature which is really cool okay so i'm gonna undo and let's say if you got a bit of um chubby face you can decrease that by tapping here and i'm just gonna take that it's gonna make your face a bit thinner which is really cool okay you can make your picture look really good here and then chin if you tap on chin it's gonna increase the chin and decrease the chin okay so these are the options available i'm gonna tap undo and then let's select the eyes okay so i'm gonna select the eye bubble and now i've got this size so i can decrease increase the size of the eyes Okay, decrease the size of the eyes you can tilt as you can see that which is really cool the main the, the cool part of this app it's automatically doing it for you and you don't get to do this on um, desktop app if you want to do this on the desktop you gotta do it manually I've got cheeks here the cheeks the same chin jawline and chin okay 
and then we got chain week that's it everything okay so these are the options available in liquify i'm gonna accept that a smoothing option okay smoothing is really cool let's say i've got this a bit of rough skin here okay so i'm gonna smooth this in so i'm gonna tap on this brush let me just select the hardness okay i'm gonna select this hardness i'm gonna select the size i'm gonna increase the size there and use your two fingers to zoom out from the image and then i'm just gonna just paint it over so it's gonna basically smooth your skin which is going to get rid of um, the sharpness in your image which is going to make you a little bit more nicer i guess okay so this is what we have all right so if you want to look at the effect where you had before so you can always tap this button tap and hold you will see the difference okay all right so you can apply the sharpening i can go back and apply some more sharpening on the face <clears throat> which is not recommended let's go and undo that okay so if you make any changes here let's say if i make uh changes something like a bit of hardness yeah so i will just make here and then i'm not happy with that and i will just apply the sharpness here okay but i want to smooth the face so go back to your smoothing option and just apply some smoothing to the face okay and then if you go to the restore and then what you can do here is basically you can just restore this part of the image by painting it with your finger and then your face will be smoother okay so i'm gonna accept that which is really cool as well okay so lighten is basically just going to apply some lightning on your face if you select that okay and then i'm gonna apply the hardness same way you can choose your brush size in every command so i'm gonna apply this hardness and i'm gonna apply some lightning on the cheeks okay all right so as you can see that it's applying a lot so i'm gonna restore that i'm gonna get rid of this part and restore the image go back to your brush and apply some opacity so i'm gonna decrease the opacity size to about 60 all right or maybe 40 is fine and then just apply now apply lightning now okay and go to your lightning and then apply the lightning now okay so and i'm gonna accept that okay all right color is really um good as well so you can apply it. saturation select that and then let's say you want to black and white your face but not the neck okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the brush size i'm going to make it a bit softer and increase the brush size okay and then i'm just gonna paint it okay it's gonna saturate the face as you can see that it's saturating the face if i'm just gonna make it black and white i would just desaturate it and it's gonna get rid of the color so just increase the opacity as well so it will apply this effect more so as you can see that i can just all right cool isn't it so i can apply and make the face black and white all right so you got your face black and white tap on the restore let's say if you want to get rid of the eye color I can do that you can always go back and change your brush size softening and hardness there okay so i'm gonna accept that now painting option to do the painting i'm gonna undo the picture first okay and just gonna zoom into the cheeks right let's go back and apply some smoothing first i'm gonna apply some smoothing here increase the hardness opacity to 70 percent and just gonna apply and make the face a little bit more smoother make a little bit um if you want to apply some red makeup on the cheeks so i'm gonna tap here i'm gonna go to paint and first select the color so you can pick the color by tapping here i'm gonna tap here to select that lipstick color okay so hardness i'm just gonna decrease that and i'm gonna increase the brush size okay opacity i'm going to apply about let's say 35 is fine okay and here you got option blending option so if i turn off the blending option and i paint with the brush okay it's not basically blending to it so i'm going to undo okay and i'm going to apply a bit more opacity to show you guys what it does okay so i'm going to paint go to paint and then select your 
okay and then size opacity 25 is fine okay and the color I want to select here is red done and then as you can see if I tap here it's basically blending I'm gonna tap undo turn off the blend as you can see that that's the effect you get when you're not blending so let's go back undo first okay I'm gonna decrease the opacity to about 20 okay and turn on the blending option decrease the brush size and just tap here okay so it's applying too much decrease this and then I'm going to decrease the brush size as well and apply some less opacity to 10 then it's fine all right so as you can see that we got something here that's too much so we got a little bit of reddening on the face now okay it's cool which is really cool okay so you've got your restore option if you applied your paint here right so you want to restore that and you can just remove this area from that paint I'm gonna accept that and I'm gonna go and apply some smoothening here okay just smooth on the neck here as well okay tap this button to accept that the next option we got is diffuse so it just basically applies some diffusion okay so if you want to diffuse anything you want to apply some blurriness to your picture right so what i'm going to do i'm going to restore that first just going to get rid of it okay so what i can do now to save that picture tap on this button and save to the camera roll i'm going to save that to camera roll and you can send it to photoshop which is going to sync that through creative cloud account and send it to photoshop okay you can post it to instagram facebook so this is our new picture all right thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video